Nerds International proudly presents Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Foreign Beggars featuring Grimald and Minoc, a DCC actual play. <laughs> Sorry, I must have a frog in my throat. I apologize. Welcome back. This is our DCC actual play, The Foreign Beggars, episode 3. Let's do some quick character introductions. Nick, who are you playing? Hello, I am playing Grimald, and I am a vagrant hobbit. And I am playing Minoc, uh, the uh, herder dwarf. Last session, you guys rescued the yokeless egg, a lawful item of great power from the clutches of the chaotic planes. And when you did so, um, you took it back and enlisted the help of Lexalia, a golden woman from the lawful plane. And when she rescued you, she opened a portal up which opened over Fanning City and she cast a Featherfall spell on the three of you. And in doing so, did not cast it on the egg and the egg smashed it into the courthouse and from the hole you saw the face of the judge yeah great help she was <laughs> now magic of course is illegal in fanning city and so that's where we're going to begin today's game so believing you to have consorted with a demon seeing this golden woman and you two floating down um, above the city the judge and all of the city guard quickly descended upon you guys and have decided that no more trials no more arresting no more putting you in a cell it's time to get you guys executed what and (laughs) you find yourself tied to a big log (laughs) <laughs> in the middle of Fanning City Town Square and this log is standing upright the three of you are on separate logs Lexalia, Grimald and Minoc and at the bottom is a large amount of kindling they clearly intend to set it on fire at some point and it seems like most of the city's population have gathered here today to witness a, uh, a burning and the judge uh, who, who resides over mo- most of the proceedings of, of law and order in this city um, has is standing next to you and he says well boys it looks like you're going to die look look for the last time look, we, it, you know we're we're not bad people and we didn't make shut the up, magic shut up. up look we saw you floating up there no, no, I would say floating's quite a harsh word it was more like falling and not only that, I really don't want to. Falling but slowly with a gold woman! Uh, w- well, the, the gold well, woman. Well, it, well we can, actually. We can explain. Yeah, no, let me explain that one. You see, I'm from the lawful plane and I was simply um, sort of vacationing in the plane of chaos. Shut up! See? <laughs> She's obviously full of shit! Last week you come in here and tell me you didn't summon a boat from the depths of hell. But we didn't! And this no, week we didn't. I see you flying and a gigantic egg falls into the into the bloody courthouse. Look, we had nothing to do with that egg. It was probably a big bird or something. Did you not listen to what she told you? Anyway, the paperwork's already been done. The people are here to see a burning. Look how excited they look. Well, just burn something else. You don't have to burn people, do you? Well, I mean, it is more exciting than that time we burned the couch. Well, yeah, exciting for you. For us, very hot. And then certain death. And anyway, the mayor's coming in a minute. What? The mayor's coming in a minute. Oh, shit. And so, the fact of the matter is, is he's come here to see two tiny people and a gold woman get burned. So, there's nothing we can do about it. Anyway, best of luck. And you see him sort of walk a few feet away and he's talking with somebody in the crowd and he looks like he's having a right laugh. And um, you see that Lexalia, the um, gold lawful woman, she leans over and she's like, well, uh, I have to say, lads, um, I'm awfully sorry if there's anything I can say to make you feel better. Well, I'll tell you what you could do instead of say. 
perhaps, or maybe say, say a spell and get us out of here. mine has got a point. We've been pinned for magic anyway, so we might as well go out with a bang. Oh, uh, I didn't think of that, actually. Oh, I know. I'll just do a spell and get us out of here. Thanks Good. for reminding me. I did... Oh, you idiots. She's taking I, I, a piss, if, I could, if I had magic to get me out of here, I'd bloody well use it, wouldn't I? Well, Why don't you? Or do it with that... I don't have egg. any magic left. The Featherfall spell was the last of it. Oh, oh my God. God. So something, thanks something. for saving our lives to get us killed. And thanks for your limited stock of blinking spells, mate. I really do want to save you, but the the thing is, something happened to me in that chaos place. My magic isn't working the way it used to. And now we're tied up to these bloody poles and I'm going to die and I'm never going to get to tell my girlfriend goodbye. This is what? The, this is the worst. At least you've got a girlfriend, mate. Girl, girlfriend? Yes. But you're a girl. Yes. Oh, yes. This is unheard of. It's, well, it's not unheard of up there in the lawful plains. It's fascinating, that's what it is. It's a lot more peaceful. Fascinating is a great word for it. Uh, Yeah. Actually, Grimald, yes. Up in the lawful plains, things are a lot more peaceful. We don't judge each other for arbitrary things like the the people we sleep with or, or the type of food we like to eat. Tell us more. You're telling us this now when we're about to be set on fire. Look, can't we just bounce and get there? What do you mean? Bounce. Well, I don't know. Wriggle out. There must be something. You're telling me that this is that this is how we're gonna finish our, our days, tied to a bloody a bloody stake in some back neck shit old town. Um, as as you finish your speech, you can hear a, a sort of fanfare start up, and you can see that this um, big fat man being carried in a in, in kind of like a litter. Um, coming coming along and the guards that are carrying him are very they're struggling a lot they are under the weight of him and the judge sort of stops his conversation with the, with the person in the crowd and he goes um, uh, uh, sh- shut up um, everybody rise for mayor white uh, yay and uh, all the audience sort of starts applauding and as you see the mayor um, in this big guy with a black beard and all these purple resplendent robes just get off the litter it clambers to the ground as it tilts to one side and he goes <laughs> well, yes we're gathered here the size of that bloke mine fuck to burn these disgusting magic devils and of course they are devils from hell uh, I, I disagree uh, with that one no, mate no we're not no, no we're not Yes, you are. I'm actually a hobbit. Shut up or I'll start the burning sooner. Oh, well. Right. Grimwich, Grimwich. Oh, fuck you. What a really lovely day it is. Because, as you know, I, Tim White, the mayor of Vanning City, have always made it my duty to keep you safe. And it is my honest opinion that hobbits and dwarves are capable of some of the worst magics on the planet. Why... Just last very night, I saw these two summoning a demon from hell itself. That woman over there! And he points at Lex Liar and she goes, Well, actually, um, I'm not actually a demon. And he goes, Shut up! You are a demon. Nobody has gold skin. Fact. Fact! Ladies and gentlemen, fact! It and everyone fact. starts applauding, like like what he said is amazing, even though he's just talking absolute rubbish. What a load of garbage, Miney. You bind this And that... Ladies and gentlemen, it's why I am the mayor. Let the burning begin! No, shit. no. As he says this, you can see a couple of guards with hoods over their heads sort of come up and just chuck these lit torches at the kindling at the bottom of the fire. <laughs> and one of them, as he does so, he goes, Oh, I'd just like to say I'm sorry about this, boys. Dive! I'm sorry, boys! And he but dive! Out. Put it out. It's Please. dive! It's fucking dive! Can't he help us or something? <laughs> Blow it out, mate, blow it out. Fuck these guys. Okay, no, it's not working, mate. I would like you both to give me a luck roll for trying to blow the flames out, please. <laughs> Eleven. Seven. Um, surprisingly, um, blowing on the flames does not work. They actually um, get larger and larger. I think we've made it worse, mate. Um, that, yes, good point. It, in actual fact, you can see them getting get, getting bigger. Yours is actually bigger than um, Lex Elia, who just stands there stoic. Um, she's crying and she's repeating a, a phrase over and over again. And she's like, Sophia, 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 I'm sorry. And then, then she, you can see that something starts happening, like her skin starts starts doing this bubbling thing. And she's like, oh, oh, oh shit. No, no, no! And she goes, what's happening? She goes, something's happening. 
It, in the Court of Chaos, there was, there was a, 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 a thing. A, a thing happened. Look, uh, boys. The egg. The egg. They, they, yeah. they're, <coughs> they're in possession of it at the moment. Now, you can't let them get it. There's one thing that will destroy it. The, 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 the rude blade! And then you see that she just bursts and all of these sort of tentacles come out and and these eyes and all of her clothes just burst off and all of her like face transforms into this hideous mass of like veins and fucking uh, Oh my god! Oh uh, you see that coming? Uh, uh, and all of these like tubes and blood and all of this and like suddenly there's like all these holes where sort of like like cuts and stuff cops oh, oh, starts coming out. Busy. And she's, she's like, it turns to about nine feet tall and the crowd just starts screaming and running. Even a lot of the guards aren't, aren't able to take this. Sixteen guards just leg it at this time and the mayor's like, well, 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 well um, actually I just remembered I have a lunch date. And he starts, he starts running down the road. He's like, hip, 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 hip. <laughs> and then um, she, she, it grows to like, now to a size of about 12 feet. Oh my and god, she's massive. One of these tendrils comes round and whips at Minox um, log, managing to smash it in half. <laughs> You're now free. Whoa. Um, but you can see um, that uh, she she now runs down the street, this gigantic, hideous form, and it, and it's like. Right, I'm gonna try and get Grimald out. Quick, um, mate, I'm getting off. Can I pick up a log and try and um, crowbar him out? I don't want to be charred. Yes, absolutely. So, um, yes, p- uh, give me a um, strength roll um, to see if you can use this lock to free him. I got ten. You do not manage to. Um, what are you doing, mate? Don't dance with the log. It, it. I'm trying. You lean over the flames, and ah. you basically are being uh, somewhat cooked as you as you lean over with this long log and try to try to wrench him out. The guards are now have now ascended upon you. You've got about five of them surrounding you. You're going to need to roll initiative for Minoc to to. You're now in a battle with them as they start swinging at you. Oh, for God's sake! So the first guard takes a swing at you and misses, and the second one is going to hit one damage, uh, barely managing to scrape you. Um, they appear to be in some oh. sort of distress at the current situation, um, not knowing whether or not to stay and fight you or to go after Lexalia in her beast form. The third one takes a swing at you and misses entirely, and then the fourth one takes another swing, hitting you, and he is going to do Ow! four damage. God. Uh... And he swings into your back, cutting the small of your back as he's Uh. swinging at you from behind as you're trying to wrench um, Grimald free. That looked nasty. And the final one takes his swing and misses. (gasps) Thank fuck for that. Um, And one of the guards speaks up and he says, You get away from him. He's a prisoner. In fact, you get back on that log and all. And you got bigger fish to fry, mate. And when I say fish, I mean that giant monstrosity that's just legged it down the road and smashing the town up. Chase that. Yeah, chase that. Leave me alone. You think we're gonna go after that? <laughs> no, we'll stay here and fight you. That's You're a guard, ain't ya? Huh? You're a guard, ain't ya? Look, shut up! Um, right, it's gonna be um, Minox's turn. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna just try again to get him out. Can I try by getting a bit of lit wood and burning the rope? Okay, yeah, so you um, you grab um, a piece of wood with fire at the end of it from the bottom of the um, of the kindling and now you're going to need to give me um, an agility roll to see if you can get it to just the right place. Hey! Oh, whoosh! Got an 18. Okay, yeah, so you managed to um, burn the ropes free, but Grimald, of course, you just fall directly down into a pile of ash. Ow, ow, it's warm! And so, yeah, you're in now in a big pile of fire, so you're just going to take some damage straight up. Um, <laughs> you you are, you take four damage, and you're now on fire. Um, I want you to give me a reflex saving throw to see if you can quickly get out of the flames as well. Uh, that's an 11. You manage to jump out of the flames, but you jump out completely on fire. Um, I'm on fire! I'm on a little fireball! Drop and roll! Drop and roll! Drop and troll! Is it? What am I doing? Drop and roll! Right, oh, gotcha. Here we go. Agility roll, please, mate. That's a 14. You managed to put your put out the flames, um, but that is going to come for your entire turn. Okay, fine. Meaning now that it is the guard's turn. Oh, boy. Um, so they start swinging. Um, first one goes for... Um, Grimald as he is on the floor hitting him Ow. doing two damage oh boy and the next one um, goes in for a swing on Minoc missing 
<sighs> Next one goes for a swing on Grimald, um, goes to try and stomp him as he's on the floor and misses. <laughs> and the next one goes for a hit on Grimald and manages to hit, doing a further one damage with a oh, swift fuck. kick to the ribs. Ow, oh my god! Ow! Once again, it is Minox's turn. What are you going to do? Run. Okay, so um, in order to get away from the combat, you're going to need to give me an agility roll, please. Bosh, I've got 16. Yes. Right, okay, yes, you are away. Which way are you heading, by the way? Minox's going to go for the egg. Um, uh, towards the egg and um, he's going to shout Grim I'm going towards the egg you get information on the blade see you in a bit buddy I'll meet you at our spot what you the- know the one so you head towards the courthouse and uh, that that's basically your turn so next up is going to be uh, Grimald what are you going to do I, well, I, I, I shall also peg it <laughs> ok <laughs> who wants to run away give turn? me a uh, agility roll please mate oh <laughs> yes so that is a critical a roll. Critical roll. So yes. um, yeah, you are heading towards the to get information on the rune blade. Yes, Where do I you am. want to head? But I've heard that they have places called libraries, <laughs> and there there may be information which I need. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yes. You you mutter this to yourself as you run away down the streets, <laughs> and you're so unbelievably fast because of your crit roll. You basically <laughs> jump over the um, over the city guards, hop on their heads, and you're just running along the heads of <laughs> fleeing citizens as you run down the street. <laughs> you make it to the library. Yes. And because you got there faster than Minoc, mm-hmm. we're going to start with you. Okay, cool. Um, Good you one, now stand outside um, the library. Um, everybody in the streets is in disarray. You can hear much screaming, but most of the guards were posted at the um, actual people burning event. Okay. And so <laughs> you managed to get away pretty fast. So nice. You know you've got a little bit of time before mm-hmm. they're going to catch up with you. You stand outside the library. The doors are currently closed. Okay. Um, library. This is what I need. But do I need to go in quickly or stealthily? Mm. Perhaps with this pandemonium I'll get a chance. Let's go. I'm going to go in. Um, how? Uh, stealthily. <laughs> okay, so um, give me a stealth roll, please. That's a success. Uh, what's that? 14. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go around the side, look for an, a window that's unsecured. Um, do I find one? Yeah, sweet. Okay, I'm going to uh, hop and then grab onto the thing, pull myself up, open the window ever so slightly, see if I can squeeze myself through and try and uh, drop down without, without, without making as, well, as least noise as possible. Well, yeah, with a 14, you managed to do it. Lovely. And there is a sort of... It, deathly silence in, in, in the library as, as there appears to be uh, no one in here uh, that you can see currently. If you give me a um, an intelligence roll to see uh, see if there's anyone about. That's an 11. Yeah, at the moment you can't see anybody about currently. So um, yeah, you sh- it appears that you've got free reign. Um, but what you can hear from outside is um, sort of um, commotion is starting to pick up again. It sounds like it's getting a bit more wild out there. I believe my time is short. I must get to, to this information I require quickly. But where to start? Give me another intelligence roll to see if uh, you can find a good place. Uh, again, another 11. Right, yeah, so you know that um, if you're looking for information on um, historic swords, mm-hmm. best start with the historic swords section. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this seems like the right one. Historical sword section. Yeah, you go over to the historic sword section. I mean, perhaps being... I should start at R, considering the sword is called the rune blade. Yeah, you go over to the R section, <laughs> and <laughs> there's actually nothing there uh, under rune blade. Nothing. Sh- shit, there'd be nothing here. Sword, isn't it? Perhaps oh. it is in the blade dictionary. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Give me a, um, a quick uh, agility roll to see if you can quickly find the blade dictionary. <laughs> That's a 17. Yeah, brilliant. You manage to go over to B very quickly and you find the blade dictionary. <laughs> yes. And having a quick look through there, you can find that there is a... It, it wouldn't be under R because it, there's a book called The King Spire and the Rune Blade. Ah. That's the only book where this is listed. So, um, yeah, now you can hear from the outside... Um, that there is a, a, a massive commotion and you can hear that there's somebody's trying to unlock the door to the library. Shit, it seems like I have company. If you want to get the book, you're going to have to give me an agility roll. I'm going to have to make this swift. Fifteen. 
So what happens is, is you run over to the K section mm -hmm. of the um, of the historic swords section of the library. Yep. Grab the King Spire and the Rune Blade. And how do you want to leave the library? Uh, I'm gonna come. I've got to go back out the way I came in, mate. So the stealthily, yeah. Yep, stealthy out the window. Okay, so give me a stealth roll. I found my prize. Now it's time to exit. <laughs> That's a 12. Oh, plus 7. Yeah, so uh, so 19 total. Yep. Okay, so yeah, you managed to get out of there quick as a shadow. Yes. You hear the door unlock just as you leave, but you know that this person is not even going to know you were there. And you're back out in these streets. Nice. Now, we'll cut to Minoc. Minoc, as you're legging it through the streets towards the um, city hall, the guards are actually just on your heels and they are chasing you down. If you'd like to try and outrun them, yep. you're going to have to give me an agility roll. 17. Yeah, um, they start lagging behind as you manage to, despite the shortness of your legs, um, outrun them a little bit. Yeah, the adrenaline kicks in and you know you know that you're headed towards the, uh, towards the town hall and uh, courthouse. And you, you manage to just about outrun them as you've got a good head start on them, but not quite as good as, as Grimald had. And you get to the uh, to the courthouse and the door is now in clear view. There's a few people milling about and you can see that the door is not open. I'm going to run towards the side. Give me an agility roll then um, to get around the side quickly. Uh, let's see if they catch up. Yes, unfortunately they do. Uh, as, as you get into the alleyway, you can hear them, um, Come on boys, we can't let him get away! And then they just get this un unbelievable burst of speed you get round the side and you can see sort of a barred window and they just catch up to you and they all sort of stand there with their swords drawn and pointed at you and they just go stop right there you little little, little one oh um roll initiative you are first what Me. would you like to do i'm gonna try and agility over them leap over. by jumping nice. on either wall Nice. Okay, like a parkour move. Yeah. Give me an agility roll, please, mate. I got an eighteen. That is amazing. <laughs> no <way. laughs> yeah. So, so this um this tiny guy this tiny guy jumps onto a bin and then oh. over the two guys and onto the floor. Nice. And uh, that will count as your action. So I'll give you another move roll. Yes, please. You won't be able to do like an agility to run away, no, but you but... can move um up to twenty feet away. So you yeah. now you now like a fair distance away from them. Um, their turn will consist of. Of, um, bewilderment tr trying to attack you <laughs> yeah. and um, one of them goes how, how the hell did he do that and, he, and the other one's like I, I, I haven't a clue magic one of them goes to swing at you misses and another one goes to fumble this guard basically goes to swing at you and as he does so he trips on a loose flagstone and falls flat on his face and you can see that this this guard goes oh my god Simon what are you doing well, you, you've really embarrassed yourself now <laughs> Have you been drinking again? He's like, no, I swear, I, d I wasn't drinking. I was, I no, I thought I saw a clue in the puddle. He's like, what do you mean a clue? You, you little idiot. <laughs> what do you mean a clue? As they're arguing, you can use this as opportunity to escape. Yes. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I'm doing that. Yeah. Okay, give me an agility roll, please. <laughs> there's no, there's no, there's no clues to be had. Oh, why? Yes. Another one. Yes, Another eighteen. Another uh, nineteen. Another plus one. Yeah. Um. Okay. So yeah, with a nineteen, you managed to escape back round to the front. I'm just gonna try the door, mate. You know. Yeah. So you um you you run away from this silly bickering and go round to the front, and um you can hear as you run round to the front. Hang on a minute. Where'd he go? Well, I don't know. I was investigating a clue as to his whereabouts in the <laughs> in the puddle, and um but you go round to the front, and as you push these gigantic doors, you can hear that they um actually do creak open very slowly, and you can see that um, there, there is a court proceeding going on and there's a different judge in there and is a different case um, but the judge um, who's, who's presiding over this just goes you are hereby found guilty of 15 charges of what? who the hell are you? Um, don't mind me I've just got to pick up I'm the collector the co the what? tidying up the mess why are you dressed in merely a pair of pants? It's <coughs> been a long day. I, I was just off shift and they caught me off guard. Give me a personality yeah. roll for this bluff, please. <laughs> Eleven? <laughs> well, seeing as the lie is quite pathetic and um, <laughs> also he's he's a judge, he's used to seeing liars, he doesn't believe it for a minute. He goes, God! God! 
hands. <laughs> I'm going to run towards the place where they keep your possessions. Holding. So what, through the courtroom and through to the back room, yeah? I've got an 18. Hey! Okay, so yeah, as you as you leg it through the courtroom, it's like, this is the unheard of! Get, get out! Pardon me! Get out! Pressing business! No! It's the collector. Guilty! I've heard it all before. <laughs> Sorry, friend! <laughs> Um, yeah, you run through the courtroom, and all the court court uh, goers are, are just gasping as you run through, and you you just slam through this back room, and you you can see in front of you like a load a load of possessions and evidence. The unfortunate thing is, your gear is not present. However, the egg stands in front of you Woo-hoo! in its yes, its beautiful yes, right. cerulean blue in that chamber just glowing there they clearly don't know how powerful this is otherwise they wouldn't just be keeping it in a cupboard (laughs) (laughs) Um, is there is there a sack and or a like a jacket there is a there is a sack um however it's full of something at the moment Um, and you can see that okay i'm gonna i don't care what it is i'm gonna empty the sack so you tip out the sack and uh, like um sort of a a huge amount of elf weed falls on the floor and then um you've now got an empty sack you stuff the egg into that and i'll put a bit of elf weed on the top okay yeah so now you stuff a bit of elf weed in there too just for safekeeping of course but now you've got the egg in a carryable state however you can hear through the door the um, the march of a bunch of guards that have just come in, and you could hear the the, um, the judge has gone. Who's it? Ah! Okay, give me a notice roll, please, uh, in, in intelligence. Okay. That, that, that is um, fourteen. The, the one thing that you do notice is that there is a spear that's been uh, been confiscated from somebody in there. Right. Well, I'll grab that. Right. I'm going to try and dart out the door, um, like joust style. Okay, so yeah, you 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 um, barge out of the door, spear in one hand, sack of giant egg in the other, and um, you can see this um, gigantic procession of guards. Just um, about there's probably about fifteen of them in front of you, and the judge just goes, "There's the bastard that interrupted my court proceeding. You were finished." And you can see the guy in the stand um, who was about to be sentenced goes, uh, "Actually, I don't mind." Oh, I'm outnumbered, so I'm just going to try and floor it. Uh, okay, so um, this is going to be a luck roll, actually, because you've got 15 yeah. guys in front of you. There's no way you're going to be able Come to get through this money. without being incredibly lucky. So Come give me money. a luck roll. Oh. Yes! Uh, I don't know. Un- uh, 20. You are incredibly lucky. So it's not through any of your actual skill. But what <laughs> happens is, is at this exact moment, a rather overzealous guard basically comes in and goes, all right, I've come to save the day. And he comes in on his horse into the um, <laughs> into the court and smashes into the back of the guard. And in this confusion, you you basically run over the top of this huge, um, disgusting pile of people that just gets mangled up in this horse. And you manage to get out. And yes! now um, what happens now is that you guys have a, basically um, a clear route to get back to that spot um, that one alleyway that you guys know um, near the edge of the town um, where you guys used to hang out as beggars With the book, the egg, and your new spear. Yeah, yeah, the unfortunate yeah, yeah. thing is, of course, when you were arrested, they took all of your stuff. So yep. you don't have any of that anymore. Mine is that you? <laughs> Come closer. <laughs> just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. <laughs> it is you. <laughs> Only a, a much redder version of you. What's the matter? Uh, I ran. I ran so fast. But look. Ooh, nice spear. Not that. You fall the, the sack and ignore the weed. The egg. I've got the egg. What weed? <laughs> now, oh, I see. What, is that? 
Is that what I think it is? It is, Elven Weed, yes. Yes! Anyway, I'm alive, you're alive, what have you got? I've got a spear, a neg, and some weed, and lots of sweat everywhere. I'm drenched. Uh, yeah, well, you just sit down and catch your breath, my friend. That's what I'm doing. And uh, I'll tell you what I've got. I have also been successful on my mission. I snuck into the library and uh, discovered I could also read, which was quite good. Can you now? I did indeed. Look at this, what I found. Uh, it's the... Uh, it's called a book. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but not just any book, Miney. No, look, look closer. It's the King's Spire and the Rune Blade. Bloody hell. I think I found a book about the thing we're after, mate. Jolly good show. Oh, wow. You ain't kidding. But I also stink because I am partially burnt. We've always stunk. No, no, no. But now I smell charred. <laughs> and some of my hair is burnt off because you took too long to save me. Hey, I tried my best, and besides, you look a bit better. But what did you do? You tried to beat me down with a log. I mean, and the log was on fire. What was that? Look, let's not go go over what happened in the past. The point is that now we are still alive and we have the future ahead of us. One which we should probably get a crack on. Perhaps you're right. I am still breathing after all, and we are still in this shitty town. Right, let's read through this and see if there's anything we can find. Shall we sit here then, Miney? Ah, no. We best... Get out and then find a spot where we can comfortably sit down. But where will we go? Don't care, as long as it's not here. We're we're wanted men, for fuck's sake. But you're saying that we have to leave the only town we've ever really... Oh, shut up, come along. I was having an emotional moment, let's go. Um, yeah, so you guys leave the city um, via um, sort of a hole in the wall that you guys have known for a long time. <laughs> and as you get outside, you find a sort of comfortable spot where you know you're not going to be seen, down by a river in some woods, and have a read of this book. And um, who's going to do the reading? Uh, it would be me. Okay, so as Minoc reads the book, um, you, you, can, you, you, you learn about the, the King's Spire and the Rune Blade. And it talks about people called the Elder Kith, who are the ancient forebearers of the elves. And it says that ages passed, long after the sun had set on the Elder Kith, the Drakenvold Swamp marked the furthest reaches of the ancient elvish empire. As the empire fell into darkness and chaos, rebel lords accelerated its decline by breaking from the royal houses and claiming fiefdoms of their own. Chief among these young lords were the brothers Nyre, who led their kith and kin into the wilderness and erected the mighty King Spire, a citadel from whence they might subdue the surrounding lands and rule independent of their decadent kind. But the wilderness brought its own host of challenges, and chief among them were the Dreadthal, tribes of subhuman savages who coveted the elder kith's mastery over magic and metal. And um, then it tells you about uh, the Rune Blade which can be found at the King's Spire, which is located in the Drakenvold Swamp. Of course, the writer goes on to talk about the Rune Blade, and it says that the writer didn't manage to find much information on it, other than that it is known as the Winter Blade, or the Turfing, and that the blade brings ruin to any that dare to wield it in violence. Wow. Yeah, so you've now got the location of the Drakenvold Swamp as well, which is uh, given to you in the book. And um, in order to get there, you need to travel north. But it is going to be a few days' travel. Right, we're going to have to try and uh, rummage for supplies. Forage, yeah. For, for, that's the word. Forage. We go back to, yeah, so it'd be like the old days when there was no al kebabs. And we had to go out and find our berries. Do you remember? Yeah, so the mushrooms were there are Well, yeah, that's not do Yeah, yeah, well, remember, remember them, them, them death cat ones. Don't go near them ones. Okay, both of you can give me an intelligence roll. <laughs> i got a seven. A nine. <laughs> okay, um, yep, so between the two of you, you managed to rummage up a day's worth of food. Wicked. Um, it looks like the uh, the recent winter has been pretty harsh around the areas surrounding Fanning City. Um, there's not many berries to be found, not many herbs, not many vegetables whatsoever. However, even a local farm that you've frequently stolen from doesn't have many um, doesn't have many vegetables growing there at all. What are we gonna do? We've only got a day's worth. And how long is this journey? We're just going to have to ration. Rash? What does We're that used mean? to rationing. Oh right. Not... Eating sparingly. Well, when you take it all and just give me little bits, I hate that. <laughs> well, if I gave it to you all, you'd eat it all. Oh yeah, all right. I know. I know. My self control is hard sometimes, but look, we don't have enough food, Miney. It's fine, we'll manage. You sure? No. (laughs) 
as you get going um, and start heading towards the north, towards the Drakenvold Swamp, um, you, it, it is a very harsh journey indeed. Um, extremely cold, in fact, and you guys are just, just in, in like a little pair of pants, government issue pants, and um, it is, is extremely horrible and harsh out there. Both oh. of you are going to have to give me a stamina roll, please. please. At 12 over here at 8 ok so so what happens is, is you guys are after about um, sort of 18 hours of solid walking you guys come up to um, uh, a, a sort of wooded area in the path and it, it's it's been snowing for a little while now and the, the trees and, and everything is surrounding you and, and darkness and you've been stepping through wet mud for hours and hours and hours and, and you guys are absolutely sodden freezing and tired and at this point you can't even stand anymore and you're just going to need to take a break we must share body heat quick if we are to survive come here as you hug by the roadside um, you can see that a wagon is approaching and it's almost as if the gods themselves have sent something along because there is a wagon with about four what are obviously clerics that come along the road, right? And they're in these these white robes that appear to glow in the moonlight. And it's it's like it's just this holy like gift that's been bestowed upon you after this hideously long walk. And um, the guy at the front stops the horses and goes, "Ho!" Oh! And, 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 and he goes, "It's like very funny. You look like you're down on your luck, gentlemen. Are you real? Help! Yes, I be real." And he stops the horse and he, he steps down off the stirrups and gets down and he, he, he bends over you two and he's like, What, what are your names, gentlemen? Uh, my name is uh, B- Bilbo. <laughs> <coughs> um, okay, and, and, and you? Bilbo the Hobbit, what a strange name. I know, my mum hated me. And you? This is my friend Samwise. Okay, um, you're gonna have to. That's so bad, Nick. Um, you're gonna have to give me a um, persuasion roll for that. Personality. <laughs> Fifteen. Um, you see him look up at the car and go, um, "No, it's not them." And you can see him just hop back up on the car. And um, as as the car drives off, you can see one of the clerics um, is holding a rapier, which is. Unlike a cleric. Yeah, well, I got, I got a cleric. James got a 20 and I got a 17, mate. Okay, so, you notice that one of the clerics is cutthroat Jenkins and just... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. And, and he goes, we're going to find those cunts. Oh. As they as the car drives oh, off in the darkness. We can't say anything. Look, it's that. I know, I know, can you see who it is? All right, just, 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 just. Let them pass. Let, let them pass. pass. <laughs> let them pass. Continue to shiver. <laughs> You, you've got about another another day ahead of you before you reach the Drakenvold Swamp. What would you like to do? Uh, I was Is there anything that would lead us to believe that the uh, weather's going to let up at any point? Well, well just, you used yeah. to work on a farm, so you can That's give me an intelligent point. roll. Yeah. yeah, I've got a 15. Yeah, it looks like it's going to get worse. We need to find shelter. You're absolutely right, and we must set a fire to warm up. Right, let's have a look. Let's find a... Uh, maybe there's a cave or something that we can dwell in for the night. Give me an intelligence roll, both of you, to see if you can find a good place... Uh, look around and find a good place to huddle up for the night. I've got 13. Yeah. <laughs> and you got three. Yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, Minoc, actually, you spend the the uh, the good next few hours um, really just looking at nothing. You find some <laughs> sodden planks of wood, um, just some wet sticks. Grimmauld, however, you find a cave. Yes. But what this means is you're going to find a cave to shelter you from the harsher winds and the snow, but good. you're not going to have a fire made, <sighs> unfortunately. <sighs> so, um, yeah, help. both of you are going to have to give me a stamina roll, <laughs> and I'm going to say that uh, Minoc, y- yours is going to be at a minus two because of um, your bad roll. Got a ten. That's all right. Very nice. Got, uh, Eighteen, yeah. So overall, overnight, your, your sleep is pretty terrible. You gain one hit point for uncomfortable sleep. <laughs> Hooray. Um, Hooray, but yeah. the thing is, in this in this dark and horrible, wet, stinking cave, um, you don't really suffer any worse fatigue than you have already. It's not as if you're out there in the in the elements like you have been, but it's not exactly like you're in a nice, comfy inn.
morning comes and uh, the, you can hear the uh, the chirping of birds outside and it is still um, a, a very crisp and cold morning um, with the forest outside and uh, lots of uh, wet grass and mud outside um, you know that this is going to be another hard day of walking what would you like to do? Try and forage because then if we can get something mm-hmm. uh, better well we'll just help us on our journey yeah any firewood food <coughs> anything we can get out of yeah firewood and food I suppose Flint. those two Moan bit, moan bits, main. So bits. it's the triple F, the firewood and food forage. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So give me both. Give me an intelligence. Triple F roll. Uh, got a seventeen, and I got a seventeen. Okay. So you've got some firewood and food forage, but the fact of the matter is, is that you have nowhere really to store it. Um, in your sack, which is currently full of big egg and weed, <laughs> you could you'd have to get rid of one of those things to store one of the things that you foraged is in there. Is there any way that we can partake in the weed to make our travel? lighter in the head <laughs> uh, yeah I mean you could roll some weed up in a leaf and yeah. smoke it if you wanted to Yeah, shall we partake in this elven weed you, you would I, need to light some of the firewood to get a fire going to light it off we can warm ourselves up a bit before we go as well because we're still in our just pants aren't we yeah. yeah, okay, you roll up some of the elf weed and uh, you, you roll it up and start a nice fire in the morning and eat some of the berries you gathered the previous day. It's a nice way to start the day, relatively. <laughs> um, you're going to both need to give me a stamina roll um, for uh, to see how well you deal with this weed. <laughs> 18. Mm-hmm. And Minoc? 10. This is contraband for a reason in Fanning City. Um, Peng. You can see that Minoc um, instantly passes out. <laughs> <laughs> now, Grimald, you feel a sort of um, a, a sort of lightness of the head and a general lethargy come over you, but it's nothing that bad. Mm-hmm. You know that this is not going to help with walking. Today. <laughs> um, this so- made me want to walk less than more. Uh, Marty, look. Oh shit. However, Minoc and um, dwarves are uh, though, though they're hardy and they deal with um, drink. For some reason, this has affected him <laughs> pretty badly, and he's just he's just turned planked and hit the floor. Oh my god, what's the matter with you, Marty? Marty. Oh shit. Well, this is not how I expected our morning to start. So your journey is delayed by five hours, and um, this means that you get off to a much later start. But if you could both give me stamina rolls to see how the rest of the day's walking go- goes, please. Uh, I got twelve, mate. Over. It. I got twelve as well. Okay, so your your um, walk is pretty average. Um, by the time that you get to the Drakenvold Swamp, um, you're pretty exhausted. And you're going to need to have something to eat. But you did manage to get some berries. So you um, actually uh, end up uh, eating those mm-hmm. as, as you get there. And, uh, yeah, it's, 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 you feel absolutely tired. Your feet ache and you feel, you feel pretty destroyed. Um, however, as you approach um, the swamp, you can see that there's kind of a gigantic spire there that you know from reading the book is probably the King's Spire. And by the time you reach the hill overlooking the King's Spire, the sun is low in the sky, casting an ominous red haze through the thick swamp mists. And there's a hamlet set on the edge of a low marsh. From your vantage point, you can make out the rocky spire at the heart of the Drakenvold Swamp. The village itself is strangely silent. The muddy, rutted road that has brought you this far continues down the slope to the hamlet's low earthen wall. To your left, a narrow footpath picks its way down the rocky slope to the swamp before continuing on to the hamlet. The air cools as the day wears on, causing the seething mists to roll in from the swamp, first obscuring the hamlet and then curling like ghostly tentacles around you. Minoc, look. I think we found our quarry. Looks like it. I'm knackered. Me too. And that place looks hideous. Yeah, and as I said, it's even colder now at this point. And I'm freezing. So, 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 yeah, you can either continue forward or you've got like a little path to the left, as I said. Which, which one would you like to do? Mind it, where, what does your gut instinct tell you? Forward onwards or left? Left to be a bit more inconspicuous. I don't know what that means, mate. But let's do it anyway. Left it is. So you continue down that, that footpath that you saw to your left and the narrow muddy footpath wends its way down to the rocky slope. 
At the base of the steep hill where the ridge meets the swamp is a small hut with a thatched roof and mud and wattle walls. The bones of small animals dangle from the eaves like wind chimes, clattering and clacking as a chill breeze blows in the mist from the swamp. The thick mists roll in, and every so often the hut vanishes as fog rolls in. Right. Look, it keeps disappearing, that little shack. Well, it's definitely there. Let's try and get in. It's a bone shack. We need we need warmth. Yes. Um, do I spy smoke coming out of the top of the old uh, chimney pot? You certainly do, yeah. Yes. I'm going to knock. Go on, Miney. Off you go, mate. Yeah, as you knock on the door, you can hear... As the door creaks open. <laughs> Hello? Come in! <laughs> we are but humble travellers. Please. Oh, why don't you talk properly? Why does everyone meet around here bloody talk like that? No what? We are but humble travellers. Why don't you just say, we've been walking for ages, or whatever? Oh, we, we've been walking? Yes, we know it's we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Just come the fuck in. Nah, alright, alright. Too no, kind. No, yeah, if you put it like that, fine. Do you want to shut this door behind me? <laughs> yeah, go on then. Alright. As you get inside, you can see that the crone is a skeletal hunchbacked um, elfin looking woman and she's in robes of rags and stitched animal skins and the hut itself is about 20 feet in diameter. A fire pit in the centre of the hut um, is uh, has a chimney over it which is which explains the smoke that you saw earlier mm-hmm. and the walls are hung with skins of dead rats, lizards and vultures alongside large ceramic decanters filled nice. with odd viscous liquids. A variety of rats, toads, crows and small black cats sit in cages hung from the ceilings and tiny black spiders race around on the floor everywhere um, as you get inside she cackles with unholy delight <laughs> sorry sounded funny no nah, not really I don't know why I did that it's just it's just a thing, it's sort of thing to do isn't it what laugh when we enter it's just sort of a welcoming laugh but it didn't sound do very mind, welcoming do you mind if I go near the fire no, please do. Come in. I invite you in. Sit by the fire. Go on. Why, this is lovely. As you said, we've been walking for fucking ages and we are very cold. Well, what, what's your name, madam? Just call me the Witch of the Swamp. How do you spell that? Don't take the piss, mate. Just call me Rachel. Oh, hello, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Thank you very much for letting us in. Yes. It's very, uh The King's Pie knows oh. its own! Yes, it does. You have been here before, no? And here you will remain until the spire sinks into the mists from whence it arose. Until the end comes to all things. <laughs> uh, okay, that's very, that's nice, but, um Thanks. Yeah, that good thing. Why not? Mm-hmm. I'm going to read your fortune is what I'm trying to say. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> How much does it cost first? Because we're a little bit light on copper. One gold piece. Shit. Well, I've got bills to pay. Do you, do you accept other forms of payment? Uh, oh, my, mine are, are you fu- Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, mine are, are you kidding? <laughs> Sorry, I don't swing that way. No, that's, no, no, that's the not. The dwarf way. That's not. That's <laughs> not. She turned you down, mate. <laughs> Don't, don't know what you're laughing about. You know, you're no basketball player, are you? Oi, leave that out. <laughs> um, no, not in that way. I mean, something else. Need something fixing, perhaps, or tidy, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we. Or can... maybe you just don't read my fortune. How about that? No, I'll take that spear. I was about to say, Marty, show, show your spear. But, look, no, I'll, no. Take, I'll take the spear, and then we'll call it a day, and we'll do this fortune reading. Uh, you ain't gonna get this service anywhere else. It's good fortune. But, but uh, it's a good fortune, I'd really. Rather, I'd rather keep the spear because it's the only thing. I'll well, do. I'll take the spear, hit it. And uh, she looks over at Grimald and she goes, "It's a crap spear." It's not that. Might, it? might as well give it. Uh, oh no, it's a crap spear, is that? R- I'd rather keep it. It's the only weapon we've got. Yeah, how about, how about, how about ten, the ten a penny? Those spears. You can find thousands of them in the village. Well. Oh, really? My, yeah. Where? You clean somebody's windows, they'll give you a spear. What we're really interested in is these lovely skins that you've got on the walls. Oh no, those aren't for sale. Uh, look, do you want your fortune or not? No. Well, Just give it a spear. No, no, no. I will have my fortune, Brent. Right, how about this lovely book I have rather than taking his, uh, the spear that he's obviously quite fond of? Go on in, let's have a look. Here, I found it in a library. Mmm, the King Spire in the rune played. 
This is a history of our town. Yeah, but we'll see. You want me to trade this for a fortune? Uh, yeah. Yeah, all right. She takes it off you and then emptying a vial of viscous blood onto the muddy floor and scraping runes into the grime. Looking up with pale white eyes, she extends a single bony hand saying, A bit of air or flesh to give this spell its soul. The stone smashed have something to win, eh? You want me air? Yeah, just give me a bit of air. Come on. I have to talk in this mysterious way when I'm doing a fortune. Come on. Okay, uh, hold on a minute. I pull a bit of air, well, I pull a bit of charred air out of my head. It's a bit charred. Oh, no, I got a little bit burnt earlier. It's a long story. We'll talk about it later. All right, cool. And um, she takes the, um, she shakes a charred hair, <laughs> and um, and and sort of like stamps it into the blood on the floor. <laughs> Let's see what your fortune is. Oh no! Heavy as the head that wears the crown. Yeah. We honour you, monarch of the damned. Your throne awaits atop the Kingspire. The crone reaches into her robes and retrieves a dark crown of heavy ancient bronze swaddled in rags and offers it to you, Grimald. And she goes, Oh, great king, finally ye have returned. I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> after all this time, I was a king after all. Wait, yes. wait, wait. Grimald. Uh, what? Could be a trick. Pokery, pokery! Look at the crown. Look, the bloody runes don't lie, do they? Yeah, look at the mess on Where, the floor. Where'd you get that from? What do you mean? The crown. Just see it down my robes. I was keeping it for this one such occasion. What? 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 And now you're, uh, now you're... Look, uh, oh. the, look, in the thingies, yeah. right, I was waiting for the real king to turn up and it just so happened that the runes said that you're the king, so here we go. Well, yes, that's right. Your liege has now returned to you. You are, you are the monarch of the damned. You, your throne waits atop the king's spire, so go up there and just go have the throne. Yeah. Yeah, um, apparently you're the king according to this. I mean, you don't look it, but bloody hell. No, I am. And uh, my subjects, where would they be? Uh, in the king's spire. In the king's spire. Yeah, just go up there. Go up there, have a laugh. And I will be taking one of these skins now, because your king is cold. Yeah, go on then. Lovely. And she gives you a, um, a skin. <laughs> and me? You can bugger off. Uh, he is my, uh, it, this is the king's hand, my uh, most trusted advisor. Ah, uh, yes, my lord. Um, I fetch ye, ye old. I, I fetch some food. I well. fetch ye a, 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 um, a robe immediately. And she gets um, Minoc a, a robe also, and she's. Ah, food! Mmm! Uh, yes! And she goes and gets a spider leg soup. Uh, um, which looks utterly disgusting, uh, um, and she she fetches it for you two, and it's got gigantic spider legs coming out of it. And, and fun on me. She hands it to both of you. Yum, 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 yum. Now you, dwarf, would you like your fortune told? Excuse me a minute. I'm just trying to stomach this lovely soup. <laughs> Mine, you might be a king as well. Why are you making those noises? I'm just, I'm enjoying it so much. <laughs> yes, eat your soup. Ah, oh, God. And, and be happy. Take. Go on, take this. You've been kind enough, yeah, to feed me this lovely soup. Don't mention it. I won't. I spat in it. Oh God! Why do you want this spear so much? Well, I don't. I just, I just love telling fortunes. Yeah, she um, once again pours a big load of blood on the floor, and then she goes, "Right, you, uh, uh, a bit of hair or flesh to give the spell his soul. The stones must have something to win, eh?" Yeah, I'm just going to nab a bit of hair off and hand it over. And she goes, ah. right. Oh. 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 Secrets what? lurk beneath old king's fire. <laughs> Search there for answers. But where the exiled regent and his court, the humblest twig will be the end of them all. And she gets a twig <laughs> out and, and gives it to you. And she's like, this twig is yours. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a spear and got a twig in return. Ah, but this is not any twig. Oh, yeah. Is uh, it the twig of destiny? Tis the witch's twig. Oh. So it's your twig. My twig. It's, you gave me your twig. Yes. Oh, ain't that nice? No, we're all friends here. <coughs> Lovely. And um, you see that um, Minot faints um, instantly <laughs> once again. Shit, Minot. Hitting the floor. And she goes... Oh, no, don't worry about that. That's all, uh, that's, uh, that's all normal. What are you done to him? What are you done to my friend? 
So we're going to cut to where Minoc currently is, or at least his soul is. You find yourself in, in sort of, um, like, by, by a lake. And this, this lake is one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen. And you've got all these like um, sort of dragonflies around you and, and, and there's, it's, it's like a beautiful sunset as well. And then you can see this um, sort of gigantic toad come out of the lake and just goes... <laughs> ah, hello. I'm just uh, with my slumber. Ah. Mm, it is me, my knock. Where, where am I? This place is lovely. You are in the lair of the bugbabils. What? You have been binded to me by the witch's twig. I will help you on your quests. Well, that sounds great. Shut up a minute. <gasps> but these things come at a price. Huh. My power is not infinite, but I will help you in whatever it is you need to do. You see, Rachel is a friend of mine. <laughs> shut up, shut up. I'm talking. So, Rachel is a friend of mine. And if she's giving you the twig, then you must be a pretty all right dude. So, you and I have entered into a pact. A pact that will not be broken. Forever. Ah, uh, uh, brilliant. Understand this. Yes. My power is yours. And your power is mine. I will give you requests every now and then. And in return, you will have my power for life. What, what kind of requests? Shut up. That, that will be do. made clear soon. Goodbye. And that, Rachel, is why they call me the owl bother in some places. <laughs> That's a good story. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, I like oh, that. here he is. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's back what? awake. Where have you been? Um, um... Did you see him then? Yeah, what? Well, the the we toad? The bugbear bills. The, the bug, yeah, I saw Bill. What yeah, happened? There's the bugbear bills. I saw, I saw him. He's, he's a big fellow. He's, he's a good guy. He is. He apparently is. Yes. What's in the bugbear bills? What's his powers then? I don't know about that. He's so cryptic. Oh, it's all cryptic. Fantastic. He might give, he, he'll probably give you like magic spells and that at some point. That, that, that sounds great. But you got to do stuff for him and always he's not. He... Have you ever had to do anything? Okay. Yeah. Oh, what? F fortune telling. Mm. Yeah. Been confined to this app for 15 fucking years. <laughs> but he's a good bloke, he's been bugged bills. Anyway, see you later. How is that? Do you mean that we yeah. have to leave? Yeah, I mean, can you go, please? All right, you've got to clear all that muck up on the floor, I suppose. Rach. Yeah. That must right. be quite annoying, Nick. Yeah, when can you... you go? All right, all right, we'll leave it at that. Come on then, my Nick, let's go. Yeah, so as you get set outside the hut, you're now wearing your fancy new rat fur coats, and grimald has got his crown on. <laughs> Look at me. Um, Grimald. Yeah. Might be an idea to tail us off whilst we're travelling. You what, mate? Whilst we're travelling. I've just been anointed. Of course what, I'm not going to take my crown what off. What if they want the king's head? All right, all right, all right. Let me uh, let me just pop this off and uh, put it in with the egg. Okay, yeah, you put the crown in the bag with the uh, with the egg. And um, you you guys are now outside the hut. And what you can do is from there you can see that the hamlet is surrounded by quite a large wall. Perhaps we'll walk straight up then, my nook. And if you need the crown, then you can put it on. Oh well. Okay, yeah. Um, ahead of you, the muddy track runs through a crude wooden gate set into the wooden palisade that surrounds the hamlet. Smoky torches are set atop the palisade wall, casting a hellish red glow through the mist and soot. A small earthen rampart rises to the palisade. Figures stand atop the wall, their spears held at the ready. It looks like the welcoming committee is here. Um, a man atop the wall goes, What ho! Speak! Uh... Tis I. Oh yeah? Grimald. And Minoc. Yeah, I don't actually know who you are. He's the... Shall I? Shall I am Grimald, the King of the Damned. Yep. And I've come back to, um, check on my kingdom. <laughs> oh, yes. Come on in. I 
captain of the guard would welcome any king of the damned into the the, 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 the hamlet of the kingshire. Come on in, sir. I bow to ye immediately. And you can see that the gate comes up instantly as you said this. I don't buy it, mine, but I don't know what else we're going to do, Mike. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you trud uh, through the uh, through the mud and uh, go into the Kingshire Hamlet and uh, uh, further into the Drakenvold Swamp. As you um, as you get in, the uh, the door just slams behind you, and he and he's like, "You bloody idiots!" <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> oh, oh <shit>. fuck. <laughs> okay, so Minoc, you are up first. Mm. I'm just. I'm going to clutch at the twig, ah. thrust it forwards like a blade, and because the toad man said that there's magical powers that I'll share of his, then hopefully I think something will happen. Give me an intelligence roll, please. Eighteen. You can hear Babugba Bills' voice in your ears, and he said, "Look, I can't believe you called me in this quickly." And you can see that the ground beneath the the, the main captain guard sort of starts to shake and get um, uh, uneven. And he's, he starts going, whoa, what the hell? And you can see that Babug Bibbles' gigantic face just erupts through the ground, swallows him up <gasps> and takes him underneath. <laughs> and, and the rest of the guard are going to have to do a morale check. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> mate! Of course they fail. And they, they just utterly leg it in, in all directions and they just are screaming at this point. <laughs> Don't fuck with me! Um, and Babugba Bills is like, you owe me one. Thanks, Bugs. Fantastic work, Miney. Good stickery. This twig is fucking awesome. Indeed it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now you're stood in the middle of this of this hamlet. Everything seems extremely quiet as the guards have now buggered off. Um, usually a town like this even at this time of night uh, would be relatively um, lively <laughs> but at this time uh, there's nothing there's no sound whatsoever can I do a kind of a notice roll uh, a perception a perception roll to spy an empty house uh, got 11 yeah you can see immediately to your left um, there, there's a house that has um, no no candles illuminated inside and you can see that there's one with um, no smoke coming out of it so if you'd like to go and investigate I'm starting to like this place if I'm honest with you well my kingdom uh, stop stop this okay you can see um, that the, uh, the this this like hut um, is the door is open Okay. Right, it's been left open and as you get inside the ramshackle hut is silent and cold cobwebs hang over the door in the corners of the hut and from the low thatched ceiling the hearth is cold and untended with a simple with, with simply a rusted pot hanging over the dead coals mm. what would you like to do inside try and set, start the fire up and get warm basically so yeah you light the fire up um, you get nice and warm, and you you do so. We'll get comfy and sort of brilliant. Make base, and then we'll wander around. Uh-huh. Okay, both give me a perception roll, please. Sixteen. Ten. Grimald, as you're um, as you're looking around while while Minarch is is getting the fire going, um, you can see blood stains on the walls and floor, and a broken, bloodied spear tip buried in one of the wooden beams. Mighty. Yes. I've, I have found uh, I've found signs of violence in here, that's for sure. Uh, there's blood everywhere. There also seems to be a metal object, almost like a spear tip, embedded in that beam oh, right there, look. Yeah, right, you are. I wonder if, if we could get it out and it could could give us some answers that we're looking for. Stand on my shoulders, why don't you? All right, let me climb up. <laughs> there we go. Right. God, you yeah, and- stink. You climb up onto his shoulders and manage to grab the spear tip out of the out of the uh, out of the beam, and uh, yeah, you can see that there's there's a lot of dried blood on the end. Um, you can pop it into the sack as well. So yeah, you've now mm-hmm. got that. Um, other than that, uh, the the hut seems relatively normal. Um, can we spy around the the town? Sure. Um, do you want to give me a perception? Mm-hmm. Seventeen. Uh, yeah, as you walk around the town. Minoc notices that uh, there is a, a, a hut that appears to be occupied um, because you can see smoke coming from the chimney. Yeah. Hey, look. Look over there. Oh, smoke. S- oh, yeah, right you are. Must be someone in there. Should we? Would they be as friendly as Rachel? I mean, is their king knocking on the door after all? Keep, keep that under wraps for now. Oh, okay. I think we'll go in. 
Or knock. knock. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, that's settled. We'll go uh, we're going to knock on said door. Yeah, okay. As you knock on the door and it screeches open and you can hear a, a, a guy inside just go, No! I'm not going! What do you mean you're not going? I'm not going! I told him already! Oh, Where? Wait a minute! Hello? I don't Hello? recognise that voice! Who Hello? are you? It's, uh, it's I. Bilbo. I don't know! Come in! Okay. I'm going to walk in and see if I can see his face. Um, yeah, you can see, like, sort of in a, um, a, a fairly regular looking common room, there's a guy with, with, like, a severed leg sitting on a chair. And he looks like a really haggard, haggard old man with a severed leg. He's got a scarred up, haggard looking face. And he, he looks at you guys and he's just like, you're not one of them. No. No. No, we are just a few... Uh, humble travellers. Why does everyone always well. say that? <laughs> uh, it's the go-to thing, isn't it? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, listen, who did you think we were? I thought you were one of the guys trying to get me to do the damn ritual. Ritual. Uh, What's the ritual? Uh, but you you really don't know? Ah, uh, no. We're new in town. Up in the King's Spire. Right. The, the dreaded Marchio. Marchio, you say? Yeah, he's always trying to get us to do damn rituals. I told him I can't go because of my leg. There's no way I'm going up on one of them skips over the fucking swamp to go over and do a fucking dance around a fire and shit. No way. No heckin' way. Goddamn old old son of a bitch. He, he, he's crazy, man. I would have fled this town a long time ago if it wasn't for fucking fucking... Ding, fucking ding, ding. All right, calm down. Look, riddle me this. Where is everybody else? They're at the King Spire, man. So you're the last... You didn't see it on the way in? Yeah, we did. We spied the spire. Yeah, they're all over there. So by boat, you say? Yeah, yeah. You've got to go, you've got to go over the swamp on a skiff thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. And you've just been sitting here complaining all There's this no time. There's no way I'm doing a ritual. Look at my damn leg. All right, you keep going on about your leg. It's, you know, I've, I've seen a couple You can't of make me. I'm oh, not, sorry, I forgot you're not with them. I'm not trying to make you do anything. I'm just saying you seem to be making quite a big meal out of the fact that you've got a missing leg. But, you know, that happens to people. You like, try living with it, dickhead. Get over it, You though. try being disabled. Well... No, I, I, I feel your... I feel... I mean, I'm, it's like I've lost half of my body being as short as I am, but... I That's not complain. a disability, being short. I'm tiny. Just get a stepladder. Oh, well. Well, yeah. Maybe well, I will if I knew what that was. But look, all I'm trying to say is stop sitting here whinging. Do something with your life. You've lost your leg. Get on with it. I am. What, sitting here complaining? No, just now I was trying to read a book. I mean... Oh, have we disturbed you? Well, yeah, a little bit. Look, Just... where's where's the king of the dead? We need to speak to him. What do you mean, the king of the dead? Who are you talking about, you retard? You know, wait a minute, wait a while. Grimald, shut your mouth a minute. Okay. Is there anyone else in this town? What the fuck am I supposed to know? I've been sat here reading a book. Good night. And we'll, I'll just walk out. Grim, come on. Right. Look, do something with your life. He was an abrasive young man, wasn't he? I'll see if, yeah, well, I suppose, I think, bed down, rest up. Where are you going to bed down? In the hut. Oh, nice, in, mate. In the previous hut, yeah? Yeah. Okay, um... Is there any way to securely bolt the door shut? No. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll just bed down. I will go on, I will take first watch, then, my knock. Okay, um, yeah, as you bed down, uh, and, and Grimald takes first watch, you don't notice anything throughout the night. Mm-hmm. Now, for second watch, mm-hmm. I assume Minox going to take it, right? Mm-hmm. Give me a notice roll, please. Oh boy, no, bro. Uh, uh, five. Yeah, you don't notice anything throughout the night. Yeah, it's a very clear watch. Unfortunately, even though there are, there is bedding in this house, because you had to keep watch, I'm going to count this as uncomfortable sleep. Okay. You only get one HP back each. So you wake up in, in the morning and, um, yeah, you've had a, a night of, uh, I, I believe it or not, you've just gone into someone's house, slept in there and been undisturbed. <laughs> Fuck knows how that happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Good. God. But you are closer to your goal because you're well rested. You spent the night 
in somewhere that can loosely be considered shelter, and it's it's much better than your last two days have been. Is there any um, pots and pans or anything like that? Cookware. Yeah, there is a there is a pot hanging over the uh, over the hearth. Over fire in it. Yeah, grab that. It's a weapon, isn't it? Is there yeah. anything else that could be uh, a rudimentary weapon? Sure. Yeah, you know it's a pair of scissors. Perfect. On the floor. I'm going to bag the scissors. If that's all right. You yeah. can take the handles off. Make it two two blades. What? Can yeah. I get away with dual wielding by snapping a pair of scissors? Yep. So Grimald has now got two one d four weapons, and uh, Minoc has now got a one d four pot. Yeah. Here's, here's a sharp mind's blunt. Yeah. Look, Miney, I've created two micro knives. Oh my! Go to the back of the um, village and have a uh, scope, a morning scope. Mm, now it's daytime. Can we see more? Or is it still foggy as hell? It's still foggy, but right. yeah. Um, you, so you want to go to the other end of the village, yeah? Mm, mm. Okay. As you go to the other end of the village, um, you notice that there's one building that is not a hut, but a proper house. Mm-hmm. Um, as I said before, they're, they're, these are, these are these are houses, but they're they're not like that decent. They're, they're just huts. But they're on the other end of the village, there is one that is is a proper house. And from inside, you can hear slowly, Minor, slowly. There seems to be someone in this one. So what you notice here is that um, this is this is an old mill. Okay, mm-hmm. and. Uh, that the, the, there's this kind of stream running down the side of the of the mill, and the, the, there's a footpath winding its way past a pair of clay ovens to the front of the mill, and not to mention what you can hear inside as well is just more more groaning. <coughs> oh fuck! Yet more groaning and profanities might not coming from this house. Shall we proceed? Fuck it, yes. I like your style. Let's go. Um, should we knock on the door? We have knocked on the door. Okay, as you knock on the door, you can hear sort of clambering coming from within and some large footsteps approaching the door. Um, and somebody uh, sort of opens the door a crack and you can see sort of a, a big eye in the door um, very near to the top of the frame. And he's like, Hello, hello Machio! Hello? No, you ain't Machio, go away! And he closes the door. Uh oh. Uh, Ma- Machio has, has sent us. Uh, give me a persuasion roll for that, Grimald. Uh, 17. Yeah, he, he, you, the, the door opens a little crack again and goes, Really? Yes, of course, really. Why send you two little guys? Uh, for that very reason. We're small and we can get here quickly. We have an urgent message, and he said you must. Uh, What's the message? That you need to get to the spire now. You're uh, required urgently. So, so he opens the door now fully, and you can see that this guy's a towering, hulking mess of a person. Oh my god! He is absolutely gigantic, and also his features are are somewhat mutilated and weird. He's got one eye bigger than the other. His skin is all uh, mangled and horrific, and he's he's a, a sort of a, a horrific giant. And he looks at you and he says, "Really." Machio said he wanted help with the ritual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said, uh, he said, go get my best giant guy. But they're doing bad stuff to their people. Surely he didn't want me to help. No. You a liar! No, no. You no. a liar! A you a filthy bad man! Oh god! And you see him Great. reach for a um a, a big maul that, he, that is just by the hallway. So we're gonna roll initiative. Oh <laughs> god. Grimald, you are first. What are you going to do? Oh, my God. Look at the size of this guy. Leg it. Run. Agility roll, please, mate. Uh, that's a 14. Okay. Uh, he goes, Hey, you don't do that. Get back here, you piece of poop. <laughs> Next up is going to be uh, Minoc. <laughs> hey, check that out. Nice. Uh, 19. Okay, now he's going to try and catch you. His big lumbering footsteps. He gets a 19. Oh. So he manages to catch up to Grimald and he swings at the maw. Um, it's, it's sort of like making a huge gust of air flies towards you. He misses. He got an 8. It swings over your head as he chases you towards the swamp. Oh my god. 
Um, next up is going to be Grimald. What would you like to do? Uh, I would like to continue running. Oh, uh, four. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's a pitiful run. He, you do not manage to get away at all. Shit. Um, you are allowed an attack. That okay. counts as your move roll, so you can attack. Uh, so Grimald's going to try and throw one of his micro knives at his foot or leg and try and uh, in some way disable him. So that's, oh, that's an 18. That's a free damage, mate. So the knife soars through the air as he gains on you because of your pitiful agility roll. Yep. And it stabs into his foot and he goes, Dang it! And um, you can see that this is definitely going to slow him down somewhat. Next up is going to be Minoc. What do you want to do? Um, uh, Minoc is going to go, Wait! Wait! He's the king! He's the king! I'm and the king! I'm going to reach for the crown. The king, yeah! <laughs> as you guys, As you guys run forward... He, 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 appears to, he appears to have no knowledge of what on earth you're speaking about. I'll continue running. Got a 16. Right. And he's going to try and keep, carry on running up towards you. Um, he also got a 16. Oh. What is this guy? So his gigantic legs carry him very, very fast towards you. And you guys are basically running in formation towards the swamp. As you approach the swamp, you get to a narrow dock which extends from the muddy shore over brackish waters. No more than three places wide, covered in black mould and surrounded by high reeds. The dock seems about to vanish into the swamp. At the end of the dock is a single sodden skiff moored to the dock with a single rotting rope. A pair of ten foot poles rest against the bow of the skiff. And he is now going to swing at Grimald, who is nearer. He is going to hit... <sighs> Don't you ever lie to me about the master! doing five damage. Oh, ow. The mole smashes into your back as you try and run away and you oh. feel your spine just get all smashed up by this gigantic rock on a stick, basically. And you ain't getting away on that boat neither. So Grimald, you are up next. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna leap onto the boat. Okay, so uh, Grimald, you jump onto the boat, mm -hmm. but you know that if you try to leave this turn, it's gonna make it harder for, hit, for uh, Minoc to get onto the boat. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? I'm gonna hang tight. Minoc, it is your turn. I'm gonna squeeze the stick of destiny. <sighs> okay, give me an intelligence roll, please, mate. Got 15. What happens to Minoc is that as you jump onto the boat, um, you immediately pass out once again. And you find yourself stood in front of that lake. And he says, I thought I told you to sort of like, you know, not take the piss. Well, well, and here you are again. Be Only a short while later. So sorry. You asked me to use my powers. Mm, big giant. There's Look, big. How, how have I asked you for a single favor yet? There's a big giant. I'm. I'm really sorry. Yes, but I am giantly annoyed. <laughs> I, I understand. No, you do not understand. You meddling intent. You do not understand. <laughs> and now you have annoyed me greatly. So from now on, some bad things are going to happen. And I'm not even gonna tell you what. How about that? Uh, you no. bitch. Oh. No. He, he, and then he points his sort of like froggy hand at you, right? And you can feel something happening to you. You you feel your um, sort of consciousness fade to black. So you actually do not wake up from this uh, from this nightmare sure. um, this time. And Grimald, you can just see that Minoc is now just passed out on the boat, oh, and he is you. not waking up. It's going to be the giant's turn. Uh, he lumbers onto the boat. No! And jumps on with you. You can feel that a lot of water starts coming on, and he's like, You lied to me! You lied! And he just goes for a big smash against you with his club. He misses. And oh, um, you can feel it swing over your head. But now it is Grimald's turn. What would you like to do? I'm going to have to try and blag it with the crown. That's yeah, all I've got. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to put the crown on and be like, I didn't lie. I had to be in disguise because I am actually the king. You're not King Sean. Yeah, I am. I've seen him in paintings. And he swings at you again. What? She turns over. Oh, no. He got the thing out of the bag and put it on his head. <laughs> oh, do I not get a wake-up turn? No. You're, you're, you're Unfortunately, gone. something's happened to you. Oh, something's bugger. happened to you. Bugger. Um, and he's, yeah, he swings at you again. So uh, oh, Come on. He misses, but it smashes a corner off the boat. And uh, now you can see that um, water is sort of leaking into the boat. And he's like, lying phony. Look, the boat's sinking. And uh, can you swim? Oh, shit. Because I bloody can't, mate. Oh, no. Yeah, you can see him jump onto the, um, onto, the, onto the dock. And he's like, I'll get you one of these days. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll be waiting. I'm going to start paddling. <laughs> okay, yeah, give me a strength to paddle the boat, please. Uh, so, 14. You paddle the boat and you manage to get it away into the Drakenvold swamp. <laughs> and as you do so, you see the fading image of the giant shaking his fist angrily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see that, mate? Oh, shit. You're still asleep. Oh, mate, well, you wait, I'll wake you up and you see this. As you sort of wade through the swamp, um, it takes you roughly about an hour to get there, and it's it's very very difficult because the whole way there you're having to pan water out of the um, out of the out of the boat <laughs> because of the ruined corner. Oh god! Yeah. So you you're having to constantly like pan and then row pan row pan row while you sleep on yeah blissfully great yeah well um minoc is well minoc is just sleeping blissfully but nonetheless you get to the the other side and you can see a crude platform of wooden planks and thick branches sit atop enormous blocks of cut granite that have tumbled into the reedy marsh above stand two twin pillars the remnants of the collapsed stone arch Several wooden skiffs are moored at the docks, and tracks lead up the muddy slope of the King Spire. Looks like we're late to the party, Miney. <laughs> oh, sh- fuck, wake up, will you? And as you say that, Minot comes to. Magic! Uh, Magic, Pat! Miney! Miney, look at me! Look uh, at me! Uh, what? What have you been doing? I don't know. See that boat? Mm hmm. Do you see the giant? Anymore? Uh, no. Exactly. What? What's happened? King Grimald. That's what happened. Saved the day, as usual, while you've been catching a blinking catnap. No, it was the Bill. Who? It was the Bill. Oh, what you knew, mate? Uh, well, he did this to me, so I'm not sure how friendly we are with each other at the minute. Did you push your luck? Apparently so. Look. All right. Well, look. At least we're alive, and uh, the old disformed thing over on the other shore is uh yeah he's pretty paid but he, he ain't we ain't in his in his belly let's put it that way well thanks you're Thank welcome you. you trudge up to uh, up a narrow path which winds its way up the barren ridge candles are placed along the sides of the path lighting the way up to, into the high mists high above you can make out the silhouette of the citadel atop the moonlit spire look miney i think we're here mate I think we're at the spire now. Apparently there's some kind of ritual going on. It might be wise to tread carefully. As you stand here talking, um, you can see that just in front of the spire, um, a huge battle starts up between two ghostly sides. Um, One side um, appeared to be the elder Kith that you read about in that book, and the other side appeared to be the Dreadthal. The side that you, the the other side that you read about in the book, and they're just fighting like mercilessly. About hundred ghosts just fighting in front of the king spire, and just absolutely going in, wading into each other. Look at this! This huge battle is making an absolute racket, <laughs> as <laughs> battles often do, and they are absolutely just wailing at each other, screaming. And you can see that the elder Kith are are these um sort of very well-formed knights um, with, with tactics and, and stand firm and, and they have these like bowmen in the back whereas the Thal are going in like absolute savages and really, really just wailing into them. Quick, let's, let's keep walk it around. Down, keep it down. Let's walk around this fight. Yeah, good let's idea. Let's avoid it. This, yeah, let's not, let's not, let's not draw their, uh, their attention to us. Let them, let them fight on. Are they locked in some kind of eternal battle or something? Okay, if you're going to try and sneak round the battle mm-hmm. and try to not get noticed by a hundred guys, <laughs> Grimald, you can give me a sneak roll. Yep. Uh, Minoc, give me a luck roll, please. 23. Four. 
So, so Minoc, you see that Grimald expertly just hangs from a tree branch and just swings his way over the battle, making absolutely no sound, and goes into the King's Spire through um, and into a sort of uh, guard house out the front. And then it is, it is your um, responsibility to sort of get through. You take one step and you just kick over a, a, a rock and it tumbles, making a slight noise. And at this point, all the ghosts um, have quite obviously noticed you. They turn for a second to look at you, but the battle continues, but they definitely know that you're there. There's no way you're going to be able to sneak around. What, do you, what would you like to do? Run through the middle. Mm-hmm. The ghosts in it, so hopefully we'll run through them. <laughs> because, you know, ghosts. Yeah. Okay, uh, yes, uh, give me an agility roll, please. Um, I got a nine, 19. Yeah, you, you sprint through the middle of the fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, oh, God, sorry. <laughs> and all of these, like, battle axes and elven and ghostly elven blades are just swinging around, uh, around you and stuff like this. Give me a will save, please. Good. Ten. One of them swings through your body, but for some reason it doesn't actually manage to do anything. Whoa! Um, if you'd like to continue towards the gatehouse, please give me another agility roll, please. Yep. Um, Thirteen. And another will save, please. <laughs> Seventeen. Okay, yeah, and once again, you can feel all these ghostly blades coming through you. Nothing really seems to be happening, um, but you feel some sort of weird... Strange feeling, like your insides are being pulled on. <laughs> oh. But um, uh, you actually reach the gatehouse completely Good. untouched. Good, I'm glad. Mine to me. Ah. So you and uh, Grimald stumble up the blood-soaked steps of the battle and into the ruined gatehouse. All is silent. An eerie contrast to the mad melee, the field where two great armies fought just moments before. And now... As still as the grave, the gatehouse stands in ruins. Fallen blocks and rotten timbers litter the floor, and a pair of mighty iron-bound portals that once might have held back an army now hangs loosely from their hinges. Uh, I'd like to look around this first chamber, if possible. Brilliant. Uh, Yeah, give me a uh, perception roll, please. Oh, I've got got three. Yeah. Yeah, um, you don't notice anything untoward about the chamber at the moment. Um, you can just see that there's many rocks by your feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, you notice that the air is cold and damp in this in this little uh, gatehouse. Um, but other than that, it's, it seems to function merely as a gatehouse. Can I? Uh, is there any rocks that are big enough to be like a um, stoning rock? Yeah, you can find. You can pick up a rock to chuck. Yeah. Okay. Can, oh, can I put my, uh, one chucking rock? Yeah. Better than... Well, I've only got one microblade left, and I? So. so, yeah, you find you find the rock that's big enough to chuck, put it in your inventory. And then before you um, is a narrow stone bridge which spans the gap between the gatehouse and the citadel. Leering horned gargoyles look down from the walls of the ruined citadel, and you can spy holes along the edge of the bridge that once supported wooden railings. Grey mists swirl below in the darkness. Any fall from this height would surely be fatal. Uh, that, that that bridge there don't look too uh, too clever. No, no, it doesn't actually. It looks frightfully scary. I think we should exercise caution, my knock. Oh, I hear that. Lest we fall to our dooms. You're the sneakier one of the two of us. So <laughs> no, maybe I am. you should go first. Oh, all right. Well, the king should lead from the front and all that. So God. here we go, King Grim. You manage to get across the bridge. Um, nothing happens, but you can see the grey swirling mist to either side of you as you get across, and no railings, obviously. Okay. Um, however, you are across the bridge. That leaves just Minoc on the other side, still in the gatehouse. What would you like to do? Marty, I made it. <laughs> Coming over. Take your precious time. Nope. Yeah, you managed to get across as well. Woo-hoo. And on the other side, um, you can see that this short hallway is littered with fallen blocks and overgrown with weeds. It runs no more than five paces before coming to an enormous portal banded in rusty iron. The portal stands partially open, and from beyond, you can hear fervent voices raised in unholy prayer and song. <laughs> I can hear voices. I can hear voices as well, but... Are you talking about the ones in your head? No, no, no. I can silence them out whenever I want. No, I'm talking about them upon yonder. Can we scope out the section we're in? 
Yeah, uh, give me a perception roll, please. Ooh, 17. Ooh. 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, both Grimwald and Minoc, um, what you can see is that in the area beyond the rusty portal, you can see that there are several um, villages, some of them brandishing things such as uh, cleavers or pitchforks or things like this, all dancing around a big fire and, and chanting and, and things like this. But the thing that catches your attention is that to the left and right in the room uh, that you're in are arrow slits. And if you proceed any further, you're likely to get shot. Uh, oh. Hmm. Although they're keeping deadly silent, you know that if the person keeping guard of this place would likely have somebody posted there if they were at all intelligent. Minor try test to see if the, the, the slits are armed by using my chucking rock. Better you than me. Okay. Well, I am the king and all. <laughs> Fuck. Do I need to roll for a missile attack? Okay, uh, pitiful. That's a six. Well, you chuck the rock listlessly forward. Um, it's, it's 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 a crap throw if you were trying to hit something, but nonetheless, it does it does roll forward. It just hits the floor. Okay. But before hitting the floor, mm-hmm. you see an arrow fly out <sighs> and smack into it. Ooh. Oh, good shot as well. And you can hit. <laughs> good one. I think that answers that question, Moynook. Mm. And then you can hear somebody else go. Shh. I think that answers that question, Minoc. No, not you. Oh. Uh, who is that? And then you can hear, shh, shh. Oi, shush. Yeah. It, who is that? Mm. Not getting much from a Minoc. But they can be spoken to, at least we know this. You got any ideas, my brainy friend? We can hear you. I'm fully aware of that. As long as you don't shoot me, we're fine. We won't. You won't shoot me? No, come through. Wait a minute. What do you think? I was born under an apple tree. <laughs> no, no, we, we're friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, was born at night, mate, but not last night. Don't buy it. I don't buy it. No, we are friendly. Come through. What, we wasn't very friendly to my pet rock, was ya? No, we thought it was a, 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 a tiny golem. Lies. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really. <laughs> honestly, honestly, we did. He's right. What is your name, old arrow-throwing man? It's Jitch. Jitch. Very nice to meet you, Jitch. I am... (laughs) I am Marchio. (laughs) No, you're not. Good one, right? (laughs) We're friends. No, I'm not really. No, no, I'm not. But I am something. I am a short man that needs to pass by. All right, come on in, bye. Yeah, come on. I don't like it. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm so worried. Come on, back. No, the gate's partially open. You might as well just walk through. Yeah, we have noticed that. Come on. Yeah, come on. How many bolts do you have left? None. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feeling I might be learning my lesson for lying earlier. Come on through, we ain't got none. How many be of you? No. Don't say none. Okay, I went. Oh, I forgot. I fed up with this mine up, right? Well, you only live once. I'm gonna dart across. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna shout zigzag. Give me an agility roll, please. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, 19. Yeah, um, as you go past, you, you can hear the sounds of arrows <gasps> flitting past your head. And um, Grimald, you can just see um, four arrows just fly past your friend. None of them managed to hit him, um, <laughs> thankfully. Yes! <laughs> ah! oh but what I would like you to do um, is just to give me a luck roll, um, Minoc, as you enter the next chamber. What did you get? I got five. As you get inside, you can see that the, um, the, the villagers all notice you mm. and they turn around and start uh, and one of them one of them sort of sort of looks at you and he goes who the fuck are you help who the fuck are you I'm Bob yeah. huh Bob Bob yeah we don't need Bob you don't need me no we don't need Bob mm. we yeah. don't know and um, you can hear a voice coming from the arrow slits that you just ran past and he went he's an intruder no. <laughs> she <laughs> says you're an intruder they let me past. What can I say? No, we did it. We tried to shoot him, but we didn't manage to. She says she tried to shoot you, but she ah, didn't manage to. Well, no, 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 they didn't. No, manage. Hey, who are you? Uh, that's Bob too. Yeah, I'm Bob too. 
Oh, and they said, they said, go, go past, and we will speed you up with arrows. Right. And there he is. Bob, there he is. And Bob too. Yeah. You got some answer it to do. I didn't mean that to rhyme. I like it. Shut up. All right. Right. What are you doing here? See, thing is, uh, the giant told us to come over. You got some answering to do. And then you can see that um, the uh, on the balcony on the far side of the room, a, a ragged, wild-haired man appears above the courtyard, and a pair of silent priests dressed in black robes bearing a chalice and a large earthenware jug flank him. The wild-haired man raises his arms to the crowd, and all of the villagers go quiet. And the, one of the villagers looks at you and he goes, I'm watching you. Um, and the bloke starts speaking, and he goes, Ages passed when the world was still young, and the race of man was little more than tribal bands. He intones, his deep voice filling the courtyard, but suddenly the villager interrupts and goes, Hang on a minute! Sorry, stop the ritual. He's like, Hang on. You're telling me we're stopping the ritual? And he's like, Yeah, it's just, there's a little problem. And the, and the arrow slit lady speaks up and she goes, Um, yeah, it's just, we got a couple of intruders. What do you mean, intruders? Who is it? It's only Bob. And and Bob too. Be ye Bob. And he points at you two. As he spoke up. No, yeah, uh. Wait, you're the intruders and you simply owned up to it instantly. We're not intruders, we're Bob. Yep, Bob and Bob. Yeah. So, those who just said we've got intruders are wrong. And you said... I'm Bob. You really got to listen to a talking wall, mate? The, no, there are people behind the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just admitted to intruding. No, I've no. intruded, have I? We admitted to being Bob. We're just late to the party, mate. You know I'm going to have to get you, don't you? He, he instructs one of the robed gentlemen next to him to chuck the jug onto the floor. And he goes, do that now! And the, the guy just chucks the jug. And you can see that all these worms start coming out uh, running towards uh, you uh, uh, so we're going to go into initiative order so the uh, bloke uh, atop the balcony is going to go first this okay. sort of ringleader guy that so, so what he does is he just stands up there takes a look at the situation he goes well looks like i gotta go and do the ritual elsewhere bye and then he just turns around and runs into a room behind him Minoc, <laughs> it is your turn <laughs> Minoc, right, says Right You have to speak up a bit mate, I'm still at this bit at the back It's dangerous Yeah But we need the blade Yeah Inwards tr- I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and dart in um, And I'm Bye. I'm hoping that me running in will confuse the worms And now start attacking the other uh, villagers out there Yes, um, the worms are pretty much everywhere all over the floor, so you will need to give me a, a reflex save to try and dodge all around the worms. Got six. As you run, the your leg steps in a pile of the worms. And you find that your leg is stripped of flesh up to the knee. <gasps> oh, What's God. his bone? Yep, um, you also take eight damage. Um, you are also bleeding, so if you don't get this tended to soon, you're going to continue to take damage. I need help. What? Gonna die. Oh God. I'm um, coming. Next up is Grimald. Uh, I'm going to peg it through the arrows. Yeah. Um. You. You. Um. Need to give me a reflex save to jump through the arrows, please. Okay. Zigzag. Uh, Thirteen. Yeah, you um you dodge through the arrows. Um, you actually don't notice any fire at you at this point. Here we go. You're now standing next to your friend, who is um who is like sort of lying next to this pile of worms, and you can see that his leg has been gnawed off by just a miasma of worms. And you can uh, you're now standing next to him. What would you like to do? I think I'm gonna have to remove your leg. Otherwise, the worms are gonna move higher, and there'll be even less of you than there already is. I'm sorry. It's got to be done. <laughs> I'm going to pull my micro knife out and uh, get to work on the kneecap. Okay, yep. Give me a, just a melee attack roll, please. That's a 16, mate. Yeah, the leg comes clean off. Um, at this point, um, unfortunately, that means that um, uh, Minoc goes down to zero hit points. Um, he is now out cold, and unless he has some sort of healing in the next round, he is going to going to die. 
Oh my god. Good game. Good AP. Cheers for listening, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next up is going to be the villagers. Uh, Twenty of them. Um, they. <laughs> 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 all right so they advance towards you what i'll do is i'll do them as like a swarm okay okay so the swarm goes to attack um Grimmel. okay they get a two um so yeah they actually fail then you see mm-hmm. from uh from some back rooms a bunch of archers appear in the room <gasps> next up is going to be Grimmauld's turn what would you like to do you um, have no healing abilities no healing potions what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna search. I'm gonna be like, Minok, where's your magic stick? I'm gonna go down Minok's bag and try and find his magical stick, his patron stick, um, yeah. and see if I can, I don't know, talk to his patron. Yeah, okay. You're gonna have to give me an intelligence roll for that one. It's an 18. You, you faint in this battlefield with all the villagers and all the archers surrounding you, and suddenly you, you appear. Your consciousness appears elsewhere in the lake and this gigantic frog appears in front of you and he appears out of the lake and he goes what the bloody hell oh my god you're using the artifact when you're not supposed to Uh, um the thing is all right i i'm i'm very very uh very very sorry to disturb you oh great one um thing is you're disturbing me is doesn't even cut it i I this am. is flagrant misuse of an artifact. But it had it was it was necessary. Flagrant! I know, but if you would just hear me out and I'm gonna to drop to my knees, uh, I'm gonna to, to say, look, the only reason I'm here is because Minuk is seconds from death. And he's my friend, and I don't want him to die. And I had nothing else to think of, so I thought maybe I would ask you for help to keep Minuk alive because because I don't want him to die. But what's in it for me? I will, uh... You come to me. Oh, you whatever you like. If only you save Minuk. But for this annoyance, this has already happened. You have already disturbed me. And so I will give you some corruption. Is that good? You will go back to your earth with some corruption. That's bad, I- isn't it? It's, it's quite bad, yes. Okay, fine. But will Minuk survive? However... Okay. In addition to this, when your friend comes back from his ailment. You will both owe me big time. He already owes me, in fact. So, after this, you will be in big trouble. Fine, where are you? Where are you? We're in your your pocket. Just please save my friend. Two days time, I will be calling on both of you to do something of grave, grave importance. Message received, oh, great one. Two days. Two days. Now, roll a d10. (laughs) <laughs> that I will. And you can see him spit out this dice um, out of his mouth. <laughs> and um, he goes, I like a gamble just as much as the next man. This is going to decide what happens to you. Oh, I do like a gamble myself. I'm quite excited. Just roll it, you okay. boring fuck. Oh my god, sorry. You have grown scales over your entire body. Your skin is now permanently transformed, so you look like a fish man. What the hell? <laughs> I'm a fish! Uh, <laughs> it's not funny! It is funny. And the funny thing is, is that you don't have any of the abilities of a fish. Well, so I can't even breathe underwater. You merely look like a fish. Do I smell like a... I do! Oh, my God, this is awful! <laughs> this is the funniest. But will Minuk survive? <laughs> Your friend will gain some of his ailment back, but his leg is gone. I care not for legs anyway. Ah, well, yeah, well, he kind of knew that before he went down. Okay, thank you. We gone. Do you see your friend come back to life? But the trouble is, is that both of you were passed out on the floor for God knows how many minutes, and you're just being wailed on (laughs) by all these villagers. They're just smacking you left, right, and centre. And I need both of you to give me reflex rolls, please. 20, 14. Both of you actually managed to just sort of roll out of the way and only take one damage each. Whew, I've had enough of this. Oh, look, look at me now. Let's uh, get out of here. Quick, oh, the fuck? Quick. Mind it, I'll, talk, I'll explain later. It's no, me, not. though. Look, it's me. Let's go. Fuck, yes. Let's go. Um, you realise that um, attempting to stand up, Minoc, is going to be impossible and your friend is going to need to carry you if you want to chase the sorcerer. With oh, yeah, about your leg. Uh. Damn it. Right, put your arm around me and I'll try and hook you out of here. 
Brimald, you're going to need to give me a strength roll, please. Oh, boy. Uh, 17. So, yeah, you, you lift up mine up <laughs> um, into your arms. Uh. And now you're going to need to give me a uh, agility roll to run up the stairs and chase after the mad sorcerer, Murchio. We're out of it, buddy. Hey, 17. You run up the stairs, all the villagers chasing you up the stairs, and you go up the balcony where you last saw the sorcerer, Murchio, and you chase him into a, another <laughs> chamber. As you as you run into the chamber, the dark chapel is silent and still, a preternatural gloom smothering all hints of light or sound. A thick coat of dust covers the door, cobwebs hang from the ceiling and mouldering tapestries drape the walls. A dusty stairway rises to a loft decorated with solemn gargoyles and leering dragons. The sensation of magic is thick in the air like a terrible storm about to break. And, bizarrely, none of the villagers want to go into the chamber. They seem too scared to enter the room that you've just entered. Thank fuck. And the weird thing is, is that you can see that this um, this uh, sorcerer, Murcio, he's, he's, he's like waving his hands about in the air and the two robed figures that he was standing with earlier are swirling their hands too and he's like, <laughs> Oh no, wait, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, okay, it shouldn't be that color, okay. Okay, you two, you two, you really need to bugger off, okay? Because something's gone horribly, horribly wrong. You're telling me, mate. Bob, Bob too. all due respect, this, that should not be that colour. This portal that I've just summoned, that, whoa, shit. And you see him just get sucked in. <laughs> and he's gone. And the other two as well, they just get sucked in. And, um, uh, uh, what the um, hell? Stay clear of that. Um. Stay, stay clear of that. Definitely. Yeah. As you stand there having this conversation, you two just get sucked in. Ah, for fuck. <laughs> yeah, you can feel yourself being sucked through a, a, a portal. Um, by now, this should be bloody familiar to you guys. <laughs> oh <my laughs> ah, shit! Oh, I like it, mate. No, 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 neither do I, to be honest with you. Not this not talking to you! Shit! Ah. And eventually... The racket of you guys shouting passes, re replaced by a cacophony of howling cries, the clash of blades on armour, and the piteous screams that can only be the sound of pitched battle. Weakly, you open your eyes to discover that you are atop a balcony. A pair of staircases descends to either side. The air is thick with black smoke, but through the haze you spy a warband of frenzied barbarians charging up the stairs towards you, voices raised in a battle cry. Minoc immediately recognises these to be the Dreadthal, but how could they possibly be alive? Because they died all those years ago, mm -hmm. according to the book. And then, Murcio points and he goes, Oh, right, I see. I transported us back in time. And then these barbarians just charge up the stairs, weapons at the ready. Undo it! Well, nice one, mate! Well done, guys. That was bloody horrible. Wow. Oh, man. I, uh, you know what? <laughs> this, in, this adventure is, I don't know if it's, if, is this meant to kill people? Is it just, I don't a, know. Is it just it's, a repackaged knife? Oh, have we? <laughs> yes, this know. is basically like, if you want to reset your adventure, <laughs> play <laughs> this one. one. Yeah. yeah. Have we come into it like too early? Do you know what I mean? No, no, I mean, possibly. Have. Because, oh. yeah, I mean, to be fair, a lot of these adventures, you're playing adventures that are for, a lot more characters than two people. Right, okay, fair and, and we're we're tying them all together, I suppose. So there's no time. Yeah, it's just for one after the other. Oh. Um, so yeah, um, for those that don't know, that was the Curse of the King Spire yeah. um, by Harley Stroh. However, um, that was only part one. There are three oh, parts man. to this. It's oh, a it's boy. a really really fucking good adventure. Good. Wicked. So we probably won't get to part three then. No, probably not. <laughs> so you lost a leg. Grimmel, are you happy being half uh, like a fish boy? I'm not. I'm not thrilled about it. I'll be honest with you. But it's. Uh... And Minoc, you're you've got one leg less. I'm really trying to figure this out, man, because I need to stump it up, but I just don't know. I don't have the tools currently. We'll to figure it out, mate. That. We'll figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> figure we it out. always do. Have an egg leg. Yeah, yeah. Oh uh, yes, I could put it in the magic egg. I could put the magic trigger in the end. You got an egg. That leg, would mate. be fucking cool. Then it'll be like a. It'll you be just like grab your leg and then. Oh every God. time you want to use the, the magic twig. I you just, just do a little dance. To be fair, I think we should stop uh, using yeah. the magic. Make trip. a little love I mean, get down tonight. I mean, two days time. I'm yeah. not thrilled about that. 
Yeah, so a lot of stuff happened in that episode. Wow. Well played, guys. Thank you very much. Well Thanks. played, man. That was awesome. Nice Again, one, Jay. I'm shattered. Hey, me too. That's been an emotional roller coaster. It's been horrible. I thought I was. I, I generally thought I was going to get set alight right at the beginning, and then we got out of that, and we've literally just dodged death ever since. Just about. <laughs> yeah, but that's how it seems to go, mate. Yeah, that that the, the bit with the archers did really make me giggle. Dodge though. death classics. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for listening, everyone. And if you want to get in contact with us, you can do so. And that is thusly tabletop twats at gmail dot com, Facebook, which is forward slash tabletop t twitter which is at tabletop twats and of course if you would like to go over to google plus and chat to us you can do so too and we are part of the nerds international network so go over there and chat to those guys because those are awesome too but again thanks for listening and say goodbye grimald bye mate and bye minoc goodbye for now and we will see you next time It looks like Grimald and Minoc have certainly got themselves into a situation. I pity the Thal who has to deal with that mess. Anyway, find out if they're alright next time on the Furmegas. Tabletop Twats.